Hi there and welcome to today's blog. Now I've been slightly thrown today uh, over past weeks when I've been recording my vlog I've recorded them on one day for uh, putting onto YouTube the following day and uh, I'm sat here it's now uh, 5.50 on uh, Saturday the 25th of uh, July and uh, I'm actually in our new home in Doncaster because yesterday we um, had the final of the big move of our big moves we've, we've moved the furniture and the main stuff in three separate lots which has been quite helpful in some ways because that this house was empty so we could move things and begin to uh, sort out what we wanted and where we put furniture and what have you so yesterday was the, the last big move we've still got quite a bit of small stuff still left in uh, Leicester to move um, so uh, we, we came up yesterday the van came up mm -hmm. Sue and I came up with uh, our cars full of stuff and uh, Sue went back yesterday evening I uh, stayed here overnight and will be was it well I was intending to be uh, traveling home by now uh, but uh, sometimes things don't work out quite as you expect because I thought that I'd already recorded a vlog for uh, releasing today but it turns out when I check that I haven't. I usually record the vlog on my phone uh, but uh, today I'm recording it by a zoom because I'm a bit um, uh, as I say a bit uh, thrown by the fact that I haven't already recorded one but, and uh, you might notice so my uh, shoulder there is a, a box sticking out there's several boxes this is my office so it's going to be in our new home i actually managed to uh, unpack seven boxes yesterday and uh, seven is the perfect number in the bible so what's the significance in that probably not not at all it just happens uh, that i unpack seven boxes mainly books and things sue's uh, more keen on just having a chill out time for a few days before we start unpacking but I thought while well, I was here on my own, I'd get on with it. And uh, one of the issues we've had is how to move from a, a quite a, a lovely spacious manse to a much smaller bungalow. And uh, we've actually managed to get rid of loads of stuff uh, in various ways, some to charity shop, although that's been difficult because the charity shops have been uh, closed. Um, many of them, uh, We've got rid of uh, bits of furniture and other things in various ways, but still got probably far more than we actually need. And uh, we've got here a, uh, a double garage, and I'll show you this picture of, uh, if you can see it. So that's our double garage, and as you can see, it is at this state uh, completely full of uh, stuff, which uh, we will, in due course, have to uh, sort through. And uh, really that leads me to today's uh, kind of thought for the day, if you like. And that is, what about the stuff in our lives that is extraneous to our needs? I remember uh, a story I heard many, many years ago of uh, a chap uh, from uh, this, this part of the world going to visit someone in a very remote uh, island where there was very little in terms of uh, worldly possessions and uh, modern conveniences. And uh, his host, when he got there, said to him, if you'd like to just tell me uh, whatever, if there's anything you need, and I'll tell you how to manage without it. And uh, the truth is that we do surround ourselves, don't we, with lots of uh, s stuff, uh, much of which perhaps we could do without so anyway sue and i are having to go through that process we've gone through it to some extent we've had a, a cull of lots of things we've given away lots of stick things but still we've got probably far too much we need to get through that uh, that garage so one day i'll be able to get my car in there and the verse that's really come to me in this respect is the verse right at the beginning of the 12th chapter of the letter to the hebrews Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles 
and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. So I, I mentioned that verse a few uh, vlogs ago, and uh, one of our friends, Gwen, uh, wrote to, uh, emailed me and said, don't forget to mention the great cloud of witnesses. Who are these great cloud of witnesses? The, there's a picture there, isn't there, of running a race, and there's a, that great cloud of witnesses. I kind of, uh, having thought about this and having done some reading, I, I think the best explanation is that the great cloud of witnesses are those who have, in, in days gone by, uh, run that race, who've persevered through great opposition, and yet have kept the faith, have still pressed on. And indeed, if you look back into the previous chapter, chapter 11, that is full of men and women of faith uh, who are examples to us of how to press on, how to keep faith, how to uh, be strong in uh, God's strength, even in the face of opposition. And uh, just to show that uh, sometimes things don't work out as you... Uh, expect and things come in to interrupt you there's the clock chiming away at six o'clock so perhaps you like uh, chiming clocks um, we've got um, we bought some years ago a grandfather clock or a long case clock in an auction didn't cost very much it's a modern uh, reproduction uh, but i've always i always wanted one and uh, well, the only place really for it in our new place is in my office, which I've just, uh, we've just uh, heard, haven't we, the, uh, the drawback in that, because when I'm recording, um, in fact, you might even be able to make, hear the ticking. So it, it, that's a great example, isn't it? If in, our, in our Christian lives, there are things that may draw us off course, things that uh, may interrupt uh, our race, things may divert our attention but uh, we're called uh, to press on to keep going to keep our eyes fixed and focused on the race ahead uh, to remember to be encouraged by those who've faced great opposition in days gone by those who've faced great obstacles great temptations and yet have not given in have pressed on have, have kept going let us throw off everything that hinders and Sue and I are going to have to uh, dramatically uh, continue to, or should I say drastically probably, uh, continue to downsize, as the uh, word is these days, uh, to, uh, to realise what we really need and uh, to be comfortable with that. Let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us. And most of all, let us fix our eyes upon Jesus. The one who, uh, it says, for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So Jesus himself, we know that we face such great opposition. Even during his time of ministry, the religious leaders were at him all the time, were denying who he was, were seeking to destroy his ministry. and Ultimately, they uh, took his life though uh, he rose from the dead to show that uh, death has been conquered in, in Christ Jesus. So I want to encourage you to uh, do as we're doing, not necessarily just with uh, material possessions, but to think about what is really necessary in our lives. What, how, how the, some things are, are weighing us down, are, are uh, unnecessary encumbrances that actually slowing us on that race who are divert things that may be in themselves good but actually they're diverting us our attention from the very best let's pray that we may run that race with perseverance let's fix our eyes on jesus as i've said that uh, very soon in fact tomorrow 
that's Sunday the uh, 26th, will be uh, my farewell service in our circuit in Leicester. And then uh, after that, we'll be moving into a new uh, phase of life, retirement. But I don't want to just drift along, as I said before, I want to continue to run that race as God leads. So God bless you as you seek to run that race. May you find his strength as you look to him. May you know God's blessing on your life. Thank you so much for listening today. God bless.